I have a question. What type of vintage Mustang would you want to own? Well, hopefully you know there's a big difference in these cars, one from another. And one of the things that drives that difference is options, how it's equipped. It makes a big difference in what the experience is like. Example, so a four-speed car is gonna be dramatically different than an automatic car in terms of what the experience is like. And of course, a Mustang with a convertible top down is gonna be dramatically different from a fixed roof Mustang, a hard top or a coupe. So, and there's also other differences, performance differences, uh, comfort differences, and quality differences. But what I'm talking about is option differences and how that affects the experience behind the wheel. All right, well today I've got a stunning vintage burgundy convertible and it really is gorgeous. But there's something very special about this vintage burgundy convertible that separates it from the vast majority of Mustangs, even from other convertibles. So what is that? Well, it's equipment, options. It has a four speed and an A-code 289, the higher horsepower 289. So very few Mustang convertibles in 65 came out with that combination, four speed, A-code. Some of the GTs did, but they're also very rare. So you can imagine that driving this car is gonna provide a very different experience from the vast majority of 1965 Mustangs out there. And consequently, collectors and investors and enthusiasts all are looking for this car. Very hard to find, very special. Well, let's start it up, let's listen to the exhaust note, and let's go drive it and see what it's like to drive an A-code four-speed 65 Mustang convertible. This is really what I consider a driver's Mustang. If you've read my write-up on my website about the different kind of owners and what kind of owner are you, well, I, I think that this is the driver's kind of car. This is the car that provides a real satisfying experience if you like performance and you like shifting gears and you like the top down. They all come together in this car, which is a pretty unusual combination for the 65 Mustang. There weren't a lot of A-code, higher horsepower 289s like this with the four-speed um, in a convertible. But uh, this is one right here, and this is the way it came from the factory, and it's really special. You know, the first thing you notice is this is a really tight car. You can just tell that all the mechanicals have been addressed. It's just tight. It feels very much like it would have when it was new back in 65, and that's impressive. sound from the exhaust is just, it really is intoxicating. I love that sound. It's got a nice exhaust system and it's got a, a good compression 289, that very happy little 289 she likes to run. You can tell this is a very tight little car. It takes these little turns back here. Really nice. Got really cold air conditioning. Got the top down, but that dude blows super cold. And uh, I, I guess you can see my shirt blowing there. It blows pretty strong too. I know it looks like a million dollars because my wife and I went on a, uh, a weekend in this car. We went on a little weekend out of town jaunt to a Airbnb and it just drives people crazy. They love seeing this car. And of course we had a uh, countless thumbs up smiles. And that's just the way it is when you're in a classic Mustang, especially a beautiful vintage burgundy convertible. just brilliant. That's a highway speed right there. No problems whatsoever. She's got a lot left. 289. Okay, here are some absolutely brutal railroad tracks. Perfect. Okay, real tight turn. It's manual steering, but steering's not hard, and these are, these are light front ends on these cars, and with the proper size tire, steering's not a problem. Okay, 
so we're going highway speed. I can't tell you what RPMs we're turning because we don't have a tack, but she's doing fine. That's third gear. There's fourth gear. And uh, it's really dropped the idle quite a bit right there, the RPMs. It's got a good gear. He felt challenged. It's super cool that people love Mustangs all these years, beginning with this one right here. This is the granddaddy, and that's the young kid on the block right there. We'll downshift and give it a little gas. Plenty good. She will go. Well, that's it for the test drive. I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, click like. Subscribe to the channel. Also, we're about to pass 10,000 subscribers. You might as well be one of them. And also go to our website, myrod.com. I think you'll like what you see. My son and I are treasure hunters, and we buy the cars that people would love to own. Who wouldn't want to own a vintage Burgundy A-Code four-speed convertible with air conditioning? I mean, it's a super cool car. Well, come back at us as often as you can. Adios.